One of my absolute favorite tools in Affinity Photo is called the In Painting tool. And this tool is, seems like magic when you make use of it, but you can think of it as a great way to remove things from a photo that you don't want there. Uh, in this case, I'm going to try removing this figure, this person from this photo as I think it will make it a little more dramatic without him inside. To access the In Painting Brush tool, it is in this icon to the left. Go ahead and hold while clicking and then go select the in painting brush tool. So this works just like a traditional brush. You can adjust the hardness, you can adjust the flow, opacity, etc. When you do paint, it will just be kind of a red base layer. So it gives you a little perspective as well as an overlay, almost like a mask if you're adding one, a quick mask. So once you click and hold and paint, you'll notice the person just vanishes. And Obviously there's some elements here of remaining water we might need to take care of and to do that you can do possibly like a, a clone tool right here. So you'll want to option click an area just to sample it and then go ahead and maybe add it over to that area we removed the person from. Maybe adjust the hardness a bit just to kind of make it a little more subtle like so. So that's a pretty powerful tool. You'll see there's even other things in the image. You can go ahead and try to remove maybe these signs way in the back. So we'll maybe try that again with the in painting. Just real subtle stuff. Same with this telephone pole, I think, telephone line. Maybe this little guy here. So you could just scan an image, find things you're not quite fond of just to kind of perfect it a bit and go ahead, go to town with it. These tree lines are pretty nice already, but I want to go ahead and clean them up just a little bit. I'm just looking for anything that stands out too much. Maybe this tree, this dead tree. This one too. Amazing. So you can probably see why this is my favorite tool. It's just, it's almost effortless in the, in the sense of cleaning up a photo, making it look like, it, you know, it, it was something out of a painting or something that should have been just taken at a spur of the moment, but happened to turn out to be an amazing photo, an amazing shot. That's an overview of the in painting tool. I think you're gonna like it. I would recommend just trying it out on any photos that you might have some subjects or imperfections in so you can get a real world perspective of utilizing it. And as you can see, it cleans up a photo in a matter of less than a minute or two.